Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl, Sakina Wen here, back to my Wing Splunk for the Game Boy Advance Let's Play. Last time we made our way through Black Mud Swamp, quite an epic little journey, and uh, by the end of it, we ran into the main villains of the first season, and they are still villains in the series to this very day, the Tricks, who are after Stella's Ring of Solaria, which for some reason this game decided to call Ring of Solaris. Wrong Solaria. Anyway, but uh, yeah, they kidnapped Tecna and held her hostage until Stella gave up her ring. So, yeah, we did get Tecna back, but at the cost of Stella's ring. And now the Winks are wondering why they wanted it so darn bad. So Bloom decided, I'm gonna go and do some research in Althea's library and try to figure this out. So that's what we're gonna do. The Winks, of course, went upstairs. <laughs> after a quite a hectic journey through Black Mud Swamp. <laughs> and poor Tecna nearly kidnapped. There's got to be something in here! I don't... I don't know if I've never heard of that term before. Dream catchers? No. Wrong section, huh, Bloom? Invisibility ring? Ibalum's ring? No? I hope I'm reading that correctly. Anyway. My screen that I'm reading is kind of small, so yeah. Even in OBS. So forgive me if I don't read things properly at some point. Yeah. At some point. Can't speak today. Anyway. There it is! That's Stella's ring! The sword ring of power. Part of the lineal rite of the princess of the sun and moon of... There it goes again. Solaria. Not Solaris. Stella's home planet is Solaria. And yes, unlike the wink, the Nick dub of Winx, they call Stella just the fairy of the shining sun. She is technically, because her mother has the power of the moon, she is technically fairy of the sun and moon. So yeah. Sun and Moon of Solaris, that means it belongs to you. That's right. Of course it does! I could have told you that myself. The sword ring has been in my family, well, forever. Yeah, but that doesn't tell us why the witches are so eager to have it. Exactly. Anyhow, I discovered other very interesting things about your ring in the book that I found at the library. According to, to the legend, the Sword of Solaria was created a long time ago. Nobody remembers when it was sculpted out of a stone, immersed in the spring of in the spring of light, which still flows today, and is only one of the many gifts offered by the great sacred fire. Hmm, fire, eh? Listen to this. The enchanted universe of the magical dimension as we know it was created eons ago by the mythical dragon who sparked the sacred fire. Wow, that is, that's incredible, but I think we need even more information. I have to agree, Flora. We need to do some more digging. That's all I could find in the library. You should ask Headmistress Farragonda. I'll bet she could shed some light on this. Good idea, Musa. She is right. Who else better to ask? Can I talk to Flora and maybe initiate that little side quest to get that plant for her? Yeah. Here it is. Minister Finance. Yeah. There we go. I can't believe I saw it, but I could not pick it up because I didn't speak to her. Alright. I'll have to, on my own time, go and do all the little mini side quests. I got all the pictures in there, right? Yeah. I think so. I swear there's a couple more pictures in here, like in these rooms. I think. Aha! I knew it! What is it? Stella, of course. That's her casual wear from season one. A view that I see all too often. Stella obsessing over sky. 
quote unquote. <laughs> Yep, that is Stella. When she finds a boy she likes, she goes gaga. <laughs> Although she's technically had a steady boyfriend for years now. <laughs> Aw, group picture! This is one of our first group pictures after we became The Winks. That's right. Oh yeah, Griselda. She has a side quest, I should talk to her. Bloom, I've been getting a little soft on the girls lately. I could really use a discipline book. Does she say anything else after that? Okay, no. Hey, Hortensia. I'm waiting for a phone call from my father. He's very busy at Red Fountain. Something about the Day of the Royals. Oh, yeah. Day of the Royals. Mm-hmm. I know what happens there. It's not exactly good. Now, I believe if Miss Vergana is this way, right? Or is she on the other side? She's on the other side. <laughs> okay. This music is really nice and peaceful. Pretty good for a DBA game. The graphics really aren't bad either, when you think about it. I love the Winx. Such a good show. It really is. More people need to watch it. <laughs> Especially here in America, because sadly, here in the States, Winx is pretty much dead. I hate to say it, but it's true. Let me see what Tecna says before I talk to Miss Maradonda. Hello, Bloom. I was hoping to get into the simulator to do some extra credit work, but it looks like no one is here. Oh yeah, Whiskers. Yeah, he's not even in there. Don't know, she can't use it. Sorry, Tecna. <laughs> okay, let's speak to Faragonda. You want to know about the dragon? Well, it's quite a long story. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then out of the deep darkness, a dazzling light appeared. It was the great dragon. And with his fiery breath, he created a mul multitude of different worlds and spread life, light, and heat across the universe. Eventually, the dragon became exhausted and chose to lie down and rest in a place called Sparks. Ah, this is a 4Kids dub change. Although the rhymeless version of Winx which is the English version shown in Europe, they sometimes do call this planet Sparks. But actually, in the Nick dub and in the original Italian dub of the show, this planet is called Domino. So, fun fact. Just know that is a dub change. But Stella says... Do you mind if I say Domino instead of Sparks? Yeah. But Stella says Domino is a cold, dark, and a friendly place. Now it is, but it used to be a happy and prosperous place before dark forces attacked. Domino... Is that a typo? And put out... And put out... Oh yeah, never mind. And put out the dragon's flame once and for all. The magical dimension hasn't been the same since. Yeah, of course, it was continuing from the her previous sentence. My bad. Oh wow! Tell me, Bloom, why are you so interested in the dragon? I don't know. I guess I'm just curious. Everything is so new to me here. Yes, I can understand that. Well, I'll leave I'll leave now, thank you. Miss Faragonda, she is freaking awesome. She's very sweet, but she is stern. She will not let you get away with anything. So She's tough but fair. And you gotta love her. She is really, really awesome. Alright, now let's go talk to the Winx and report back what we have discovered. I wish there was a way to speed up Bloom's running, but I don't believe there is. Hey, Winx! You know, I just want to get my ring back. 
Yeah, and I think we should be the ones to attack. Tecna, we're not soldiers. How can we overpower Icy, Darcy, and Stormy? Very easily. <laughs> Especially if you had Enchantix at this point, but you guys don't. <laughs> Soon enough. By taking them by surprise, this time, we will go to their house. I've heard rumors of tunnels under Althea that lead to Cloud Tower. Me too, but no one knows where the tunnels are or how to access them. I do. Anyway, I think it's I think it's logical to assume that the secret entrance to the tunnels will be marked by something related to Cloud Tower. Good guess. I think Farragana keeps the code to the Trophy Kings in a book in her office. Aha! Yes, she does. Good observation. So, back to her office, I guess. <laughs> we really shouldn't be stealing from her, but... It's a necessary evil at this point, right? We can't let the witches keep Stella's ring. Seriously, I wish there was a button to speed up when he's running. <laughs> Let's see. Oop, don't get stuck on the chair there, Bloom. There it is. You found the code to the trope case of Cloud Tower's miniature. Yep. Remember those two rooms at the very top? Now you know what they're all for. You know, I think this was like the... Fourth or fifth episode in the series? Yeah, here it is. See? Oh, right. I gotta go to the trophy case. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I was forgetting where it was. I think it's back down here, actually, where you get it. In one of the side rooms. <sighs> it's been forever since I played through this, so. <laughs> Forgive me. Get in there. Yeah, here it is. That's why I wouldn't activate. Got the correct code. And we have the miniature. Now we can get going. Ready to enter Cloud Tower, you guys? School for witches? Although now Althea kind of gets along with them. They did not in Season 1. <laughs> Let's go. Do you wish to continue to Cloud Tower? I guess so. I won't be able to finish the level in this video because we're already 12 minutes in, but let's do it. I hope this wasn't a trap. Let's find that ring, then we can find a way out of here. Yes. I won't save just yet. Why won't these break? I believe they do. Thank you, I knew they did. There. Oh no! I forgot to talk to Musa. She has a side quest here. Dang it! I keep forgetting the side quest. Basically, if you talk to her before you come here, and you're always forgetting something, you can get a miniature hair that she wants. Can't believe I forgot. Oh yay! Went up a level. Magma orbs. Sweet. Yeah, more powerful orb attacks. Ooh, creepy cloud tower classrooms. Although... No, they didn't reuse the model for Althea for this level, did they? Nah. I was thinking the layout looked awful similar, but... Actually, it's not. Yeah, creepy in here, though. I like the music for this level. Very creepy. And dark. And scary. Of course. Well, this is it. For some reason, I would have thought it much harder to get in here. Mm-hmm. 
Let's hurry and find Stella's ring. You never know when those witches will come back. Too true. Too true. I wonder if I... Ah, I was hoping maybe after I got here, I could talk to Musa and it would activate her side quest. No, you have to talk to her at Althea. Creepy dark in here. Stella, light it up. I got your back, Bloom. Awesome work. Thanks, Stell. Picture? Oh, phew. Little Miss Thing Icy, of course. That's, I think this is more just promotional art that never actually made it to the show. Icy thinks, Icy thinks she can take us all by force, but not with the wings fighting against her. Got that right. The wings don't back down just because they think they're all that, you know? What else? Oh, just talk, talking to them. Now... Where is Stella's ring again? I thought it was in here. Is it maybe in the next room? Yeah, maybe. Only one way to find out. Yeah, it's in here. I remember. That's gotta be it. You found Stella's ring! Those filthy witches! Why would they keep my beautiful ring here? Yeah. Come to mommy, my 6.1 carrots of pure magic. Mission accomplished, girls. That I remember from the episode. <laughs> that is something she says. So, let's get out of here. Yes, let's. <sighs> is there a safe point down here? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> so I'll just have to go back to the other room and save. But, um, yeah. We found Stella's ring. But I think that will do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and next time, we will escape Cloud Tower. Hopefully without too much of a hassle, but something tells me it won't be as easy to get out as it was to get in. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys later.